morning, it's Don Joy from Don Joy Coaching and also the creator of the free uh, Facebook group, the online marketing group. So it's really early here on a Saturday, but I'm keeping to my new ritual of getting up early and doing my reading. I'm here to share what I've read today with you. So I'm still on The Road Less Stupid by Keith Cunningham. And today I read a chapter called The Three Pillars of Success. And it's basically about how to make... Um, he say he says how to make consistent measurable progress towards your outcomes okay so basically what he suggests is that um, three things the three pillars uh, to success um, the first one is to write down your major outcomes every day and he uses the word outcome as opposed to a goal because he says that basically in his circle people are now starting to think of goals as being more like wishes like oh i want to make ten thousand dollars a month yay that's my new goal but i don't know if you've watched any of my earlier facebook lives where i talk about point a and point b you know having the goal um, you need to know where you are and then you need to know the obstacles in between point a and point b so you can get from point a to point b so then you actually need a, a plan so it's not enough just to have a goal to be wanting you need to have a plan so he calls them outcomes so basically every day you need to write down the outcomes that that you want to happen that day uh, and these they're not goals but they're also it's not a to-do list so um, the it's it's a it's not a to-do list that you want to get done that day it's an outcome of, of critical things that have to happen basically um, so the non-negotiable outcomes so number two plan your day before it starts so basically get up the first thing in the morning that you do when I do this as well is think about what you're gonna do that day and what are the critical important things that have to happen that day and then write them into your diary okay so one we're working out what our outcomes are and then two we're working out what we need to do to make those outcomes happen and the third thing he says is to be accountable for someone else for your plans commitments and your results so this is interesting I just want to read word for word what he said here about accountability for some reason, promises we make to ourselves are less sacred than the promises we make to others. And how true is that? I mean, we make these promises to ourselves, but then it's that little voice in our head that says, it's okay, you don't have to do that just because all of a sudden it gets uncomfortable or it gets hard or something like that. And then we let ourselves off. I mean, we wouldn't let someone else off. Why are we letting ourselves off? I mean, we're the most important person in our lives, aren't we? So you need to be accountable to someone else. Um, and the sentence that I got out of the plan your day before it starts, um, so I highlight things in the book that I find interesting so that when I'm, um, you can come back and just flick through and just read stuff rather than having to whole, read a whole book again. So when he's talking about plan your day before it starts, he says, progress is not built by doing something huge, but rather by being consistent, by rather by consistently doing ordinary things. So, you know, to be a successful business person, you know, we think that they're doing these amazing things that we can never do, but really what they're doing is consistently doing the same things every day, every week that lead to success. Um, and we can do that too. So what I want to offer you in, in my, uh, my Facebook group, the Online Marketing Guild, um, which is linked to this page, the Donna Joy Coaching page. So if you can't find it through a search, just go to my page and, and it'll join the group is there. Um, you can go and ask to get into the group. So I've got two, two things at the moment. So if we're talking about um, planning your day, running your outcomes, I've, got, I've just put in there um, a downloadable form of the uh, tracking sheet that I'm using now. So I don't know if you guys are tracking, but I track my, uh, I've got my WMOs and my DMOs, so my weekly method of operation and my daily method of operation. I don't know if you can see this because I've turned the lights off, but I have, it's a two page, two pages. There, it's an Excel spreadsheet that I've done and basically it has my weekly, um, I've used the word goals. I might want to go back and change that to outcomes hey, after today's live. So my weekly outcomes um, and then every day I've got things that have to happen. Now you can change it, it's an Excel spreadsheet so obviously your outcomes and my outcomes may be different and this will evolve with me with time as my business changes and as my needs of my business change um, and as of the things I need to do every day will change. I will go back in and change this and reprint them off. Um, so for instance, every day at the moment for my daily, um, what has to happen every day, I have meditation, exercise, self-development, a thousand words. So because I'm a writer as well, I try and make progress on my latest book or sometimes I swap that out for if I'm doing a course on writing or an editing or something and I'll spend, it takes me about an hour to write a thousand words. So I'll, I'll swap that out for an hour of um, learning self-development stuff. And I've got family time and I've got that actually written down in my book. Um, in my weekly stuff, I've got, you know, about blogs, updating um, the uh, social media automation, 
um, Facebook lives, repurposing them, tracking, checking funnels, checking ads. Then I've also got um, things that have to happen for my health group, like writing a recipe every week. And then I repurpose that recipe into my emails, into my social media. Um, and I've also got housework, shopping and date night in there. Okay, so I remind myself that life is not all about um, business. And the reason that we're doing this is for freedom and to have fun and to be able to do what we want. So I actually make sure that I remind myself about that by writing date night in there. So I make sure that I... I do something fun with my husband um, at least you know one night a week we actually go out and do something it's not just all about work so work and no play makes uh, Donna a boring girl apparently um, anyway so I've uploaded this in feel free to swap out the word goals for outcome um, and download it and then manipulate it to work for your business and just keep yourself accountable that way but the other way you can keep yourself accountable uh, and use that to set you know your daily stuff as well because what I've done is I've left little gaps above each day and I've left extra lines with the week so I can write down extra outcomes that have to happen that week. And then I actually wrote right every morning when I work out what I want to get that done. So I put my major thing that has to happen that day at the top. Um, and then I get great joy out of ticking. I've got times here as well. You can see the times across here. So I tick when I get that done. So And, and then over here I've got in the weekly I've got the day. So I tick what days I'm getting stuff done. Um, so that's in my Facebook group. You can download that. Um, the other thing I'm about to start putting in there, I'm recording a video series on GIMP. So I don't know if you know GIMP. It's an image manipulation system. It's free. You can download it for free on the internet. Uh, and I've taught, I'm self-taught. So there's a lot of stuff with GIMP that you can do that I don't know how to do, but I can do everything that I need to do to create all my graphics for my websites and my headers and my social media and basically manipulate photos. And I do my own professional photoshops now and I can edit the background and make it white and stuff like that. So I'm going to be releasing a series of videos of me working with GIMP in there to just help other people be able to use it. Because I mean, I know when we start out our businesses, we don't have a lot of spare cash. We can't afford one, the money to have other people doing everything for us or two, the time to have everything you know because it takes time to basically say this is what I want and then it comes back and it's not the way we wanted it and then we got changes and all of a sudden a week's gone by and we haven't got a graphic for a social media thing post that we wanted to do and um, it's probably non relevant by then so you know you want to be able to do stuff when you want to do it now and then we know when you become more successful in your business you might find that these are the things that you might um, get someone else to do for you okay you can have like a virtual assistant who is doing all your graphics and things like that for you every day so that's it for me I think for now I'm off to do um, an hour of on a writing course and I hope you all guys have a wonderful productive outcome filled day